So, it's official. I'm officially a lazy natural. But guess what? That stops today. So, come along with me, you guys, while I do my wash day routine to let you know what Ash Marie does when she does it. Okay? <laughs> Part of the reason why my hair was doing what it was doing because I was lazy. So we gotta break that cycle. We gotta take care of our crowns, our ancestry line, and our heritage. So come along, you guys. Marie's let's get to it so I start off with five sections in my hair that's two in the back two in the front one in the middle now starting from the back part of my hair I do spray my very own DIY aloe vera juice into my hair I definitely work that in from the roots to the ends of my hair to open up those cuticles, allowing that moisture to come in and if you guys are interested in my DIY aloe vera juice you guys could check out that video down below in the description box. Um, also, after really working in that aloe vera juice, I start combing out my hair with my Y2 comb. Sometimes I finger detangle, but at this time I'm using a Y2 comb because I, again, I neglected it for a while and I haven't been literally combing it out. So it really needs some tender love and care. So I go ahead and comb it out from the ends to the roots, not from the roots the ends it's very important you will start pulling out your hair and it will be a painful process so you will like this process to be as painless as possible trust me so after i um comb it out with the aloe vera juice in it then i add my diy herbal oil i put that in my palms of my hand kind of rub it in kind of heat it up a little bit and then i work it in from the from the root to the ends of my hair and I really massage that into my scalp. It's very, it's very nice to kind of give yourself a little bit of massage. You gotta kind of think of wash day not as a chore, but more so of a um of a spa day, you know? Make it as a spa day for yourself. And so taking care of your hair is one of those steps of spa day. Trust me, it makes a world of a difference when you have a different attitude towards taking care of your hair because natural hair can be a lot to a lot of individuals, but there are ways of trying to simplify your wash day process. So I'm hoping that this will works out very well for you guys. After combing it out a little bit again, if necessary, um, I go ahead and I twist my hair and clip it. Then you would just continue to repeat this process of finger detangling or combing or both, applying the aloe vera juice, then applying the oil, combing it, twisting and clipping. You will repeat that process for each section. I will show you guys how I do this process in the front part of my head and also in the middle. The middle part is where I experience the most breakage. It's also the, the slowest growing part of my head. And it's also where um, I experience the extreme amount of hair loss. By sectioning your crown away from every other section that you'll be working with, will help you to pay closer attention to that particular area. Cause for me, I experienced a lot of hair loss in that area, like I said. And boy, oh boy, hot summer heat and that UV rays, mm, mm, mm. Trust me, I was screaming and crying, okay? I wanted my hair to grow back so bad because I was like, dang, this is how people feel when they bald headed in the hot heat. I don't even want to be part of that, okay? So, yeah. After the detangling process in the pre-poop, you have three options. One of the options is steaming. I steamed on this wash day for about 20 to 30 minutes. The second option is to put a plastic cap on your head and sit under a hooded dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes. And the third option is to not put any heat to your head just put on the uh, conditioning cap, allow your, your natural heat heat up the cap, and then leave it on for about a couple of hours. 
Some people sleep overnight with their pre-poop. That's also an option for you. And then the next day, wash it and continue the wash day process. But for me, on this wash day and what I normally do, I usually sit under the steamer. Being that this is one month of neglection, uh, the fact that there's not a lot of moisture there, I would need some extra heat to open up those cuticles and allow my hair to be able to absorb as much moisture as possible. So that was a very crucial part for me. So I'll go ahead and let you guys continue to watch me finish this pre-poop and then we'll go on to the next step. Marie's step two is shampooing or cleansing so after I had did my long awaited pre pooping you guys I went on ahead and kept my hair sectioned like I said pre poop is the foundation of everything so that will help with the rest of the remaining wash day process again we're going to be applying our shampoo and washing it really good today's wash day i had used my very own diy a detox shampoo that i made i'm testing out a couple of things to see how i can get the right recipe there are over-the-counter shampoos that i normally use as a staple and they're mostly from shea moisture um so it's the same process you guys how i do it basically the way you guys do it but what i do know is is that it's always also best for like if you take the section and you hold it and kind of like stretch it out in a way and try to focus on your scalp when you're washing it not really focus on the length of your hair usually during the shampooing process our hair gets all detangled so we did kind of prep it up with the pre poop but we want to take extra measures by making sure we kind of keep it elongated and focusing on that scalp and then go from there so i'll let you guys watch me shampoo my hair and then we'll be on the third step which is the best step of all deep conditioning <laughs> guys look at this I haven't even deep conditioned my hair yet look how beautiful the curls are awesome I mean so much definition and there's so much moisture I mean you can't go wrong with this right and this all comes from me pre-pooping with 
all natural ingredients, my own herbal oil, which is really, really soft, um, my own aloe vera juice. Oh my gosh, steaming your hair made a big of a difference because sometimes when you have 4C hair, adding some steam into your hair to open up those cuticles really help out. And then on top of that, I went on ahead and I shampooed my hair with something that I made, experimental of course, but you saw even during the shampooing and the cleansing, my curls was still bouncy. It was still curly. I mean, definition, it's just absolutely beautiful okay I mean gorgeous but let's go on okay because we need to see some more Ash Marie results right right Ash Marie's so here we are again even through this process of the deep conditioning which is our step what three step three deep conditioning this process you need to put your hair back into sections again maintaining the sections makes a world of a difference okay now i know i didn't warn you guys sorry but no shower scenes here okay we're not there yet so for this video <laughs> you guys gonna see my shirt being wet so excuse this so let's stay focused let's stay focused but anyway so awesome all right so the deep conditioning sectioning it off again applying the deep conditioner applying heat if you have 4c hair you need to apply some heat doing the conditioning or sometimes the pre poo process trust me okay now i don't want people to get discouraged if your hair does not reflect these results everybody have different hair types different curl textures so as long as you focus on protecting your hair by meaning putting in a protective hairstyle after wash day maintaining moisture in your hair avoid it being out all the time kind of putting it in stretched hairstyles your hair will grow do not get discouraged my hair even changed textures i mean the back part of my hair is like the thinnest but it grows the longest and the fastest then i have the middle part of my head remember when i told you guys about how the hot sun and the UV rays and how I lost a lot of my hair um, before at my crown I had to do research and find out you know okay what can I do to grow my hair back you know in the middle part of my head I can't just sit up here and just let it all fall out I had to figure out what was going on most likely it was an eternal thing but um, I had to also figure out what can I do externally too so I found this woman off of YouTube um, I really don't remember her name because it was a couple of years ago but I remember her saying to section off your hair according to the hair textures. So like a lot of our naturals, we have different hair textures all over our head. For me, the back part of my hair is the thinnest, but it also grows the fastest. So I will section that off together. And then my crown, which is the driest, the most brittle, the most slow growing, I had to section all of that together as well. And then the front part of my hair the same. That way I was able to pay more attention to each section accordingly. So, and even if you had to do different products and different sections of your hair, that would also be suffice. And it worked. My hair grew. Oh my goodness. Boom, bam. Yes, bounce, bounce. I know you guys see these results. They are awesome, like I told you. Like I told you, can't beat this, okay? Cannot beat this. So I'm gonna let the results speak for themselves. Watch this. Drum roll, please. Ash Marie's, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Remember, we are on a lifestyle change journey to heal our minds, bodies, and spirits by reflecting on our past, remaining present, and focusing on our future. Till next time.